an extremely cold day today. Last night when my brother was filling this bird feeder with peanuts, which we do at night so as not to disturb the birds, we discovered that it was nearly empty and there was a wood mouse sitting in the feeder. Uh, we came out to video it, but unfortunately as soon as we shone the light onto the feeder the wood mouse climbed up to the top, ran up the tree and up to the top of the tree somewhere. But we had an idea, now we were sure it would come back. So what we did was we put some peanuts down here, just dropped them on the ground here and along here and uh, we got one of these which is a camera trap or a trail camera and it, it works by it's a remote sensor here and here on either side and we just put it looking down on the peanuts like that and turned it on and just left it there for the night and uh, the mouse actually came back many times and it's a wood mouse which is a lovely natural species, a native species of Ireland and they actually climb trees quite a lot and uh, they're lovely, really big ears, really big eyes and a really, very long tail but they're, they're kind of like the Disney idea of a mouse uh, very different to a house mouse which has very small ears and is almost like a small rat in some ways the wood mouse is a very uh, beautiful, big, really big eyes so that I can see in the dark and uh, so it came back a few times and so yeah, uh, it, it's a great example of how useful these trail cameras are and trail cameras as you can see it's basically a digital camera you can see in the dark because it has special lights but it's the same thing as well uh, you can put in four batteries or you can put in eight uh, this one is one from Lidl and they come with batteries and they come with uh, a small a micro SD card because this one takes a micro SD card which uh, it goes in here like that tiny, tiny card uh, but if you get a better quality card you get better quality footage or you can set it to take stills which are just ordinary photos but anyway I put it here last night and this one is only a, it's a good memory card but not a great memory card so if I put in a really good memory card uh, Makes it, yeah, and you can tell the quality of the memory card because of numbers 1 to 10 and 10 being the best and also there's different speeds written on them and the faster the speed the better the quality of the card or the better the quality of the footage so we set that up last night and you can have a look at some of the footage we got and some of it's from the morning as well but it gives a great sense of how big a wood mouse is and how it behaves and also how big it, you know how big other birds or other animals are in its world uh, and uh, it's actually quite small compared to many species of birds and here you can just see where I was sitting down uh, <laughs> I wasn't standing up, just in case you thought that I was actually another Disney popular character. Um, and here's the, the peanut feeder. And down here you can see where the camera was, the peanuts were just lying there under the feeder. Uh, we just dropped a few. And here you can see the wood mouse, and that's the first time it came. And then it came back again, and it didn't hang around, it just picked up a peanut and ran, and then back again. And it keeps carrying them off, which suggests, and there you can see it going a different direction. Uh, but it suggests that it's actually, it was collecting them maybe to put them somewhere or else because it has babies. And you can see it has big ears and big eyes. And here is a blackbird, which means this was probably quite close to the morning, uh, just before the sun got really high. Uh, and you can see the blackbird is picking up the peanuts now. Uh, wood mice tend to be very nocturnal and they're very they don't take risks with predators uh, rats will walk will go around in the daytime and take big risks because they're quite large and uh, sometimes house mice will as well but wood mice tend to be very very uh, nocturnal and uh, very wary as well and that's why they have those big eyes and those big ears big eyes to see you wish and big ears to hear you wish and now the blackbird you can just see is you can't the blackbird's a bit far away from the camera so you can't really see how big it was to to the wood mouse but look at this robin you see the robin's a really good size now compared to the wood mouse and uh robin is not a gigantic bird and here's a, a great tit another curious bird you can see the footage isn't exactly the greatest footage in the world or video rather because footage is more for for old style film and uh, here's two jackdaws 
and the jackdaws will were are actually they, these two jackdaws have learned to take peanuts off the feeders and you can see they're way bigger now these a jackdaw could actually eat a wood mouse uh, I, and I wouldn't put it past them either. They're very intelligent birds. They're a small crow. They don't get as large as as rooks or uh, hooded crows. And they're definitely nothing compared to a raven in size. Uh, ravens are gigantic. But look at here now. Think of where the wood mouse was sitting. The jackdaw looks absolutely like a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus rex compared to it. And he's hoovering up. He or she is hoovering up all those peanuts.